Scenes from McGill Training Center, soldiers from the 704th getting ready for Crucible 5.0. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. An explanation of that story in just a moment. Also this week, Anne Arundel County Public Schools Chief Operating Officer talks redistricting and a look at this year's community job fair schedule. These stories and much more, but first, the National Security Agency has a new director. Air Force General Timothy Hogg assumed command of the National Security Agency, U.S. Cyber Command, and the Central Security Service in ceremonies February 2nd at Fort Meade. He takes the reins of command from General Paul Nakasone, who has led the NSA in Cybercom since 2018. General Hogg previously served as Deputy Commander of U.S. Cyber Command. General Nakasone steps down after 37 years of service. Here's a brief clip of a recent interview with General Nagasone, courtesy of the NSA's YouTube channel. So what are the challenges our country is going to face over the next five to ten years? So I, I would say as we think about the future and, and we think about the opportunities and challenges for our nation, it does begin with the pacing challenge of China. As we think about the generational challenge that, that this provides to us, uh, we have to think differently about how we're going to ensure our competition, how do we react to crisis, and how do we ensure to prevent and be prepared in case of conflict. But the other thing that I would say is that we really have to focus on our people. You ask me, what do I think about all the time? I think about our people all the time. How do we recruit? How do we train? How do we retain a world-class workforce? You can watch the interview in its entirety on the NSA's YouTube channel. Elsewhere, soldiers from the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion, 704th MI Brigade, B and C companies, recently completed what they call Crucible 5.0. The most recent was the fifth quarterly exercise in the series. The Crucible events feature completing physical tasks in an effort to build physical readiness, warrior spirit, and esprit de corps. It's an event that's used to combine companies together to work together to conduct a, a, phys a very physical event that's PT oriented but also team building oriented. Before the event got started, the soldiers received the mission brief from a very special guest. Good morning soldiers and welcome to the Crucible 5.0, the finale. I'm SMA Weimer and I'll be briefing you on your mission today. Listen carefully, these instructions will not be repeated and are intentionally vague. During Crucible 5.0, B and C companies formed seven teams for a competition that featured three stations, each with a different physical task to complete. Once all team members completed each of the tasks, they returned to McGill where they received a special welcome. Sergeant Major of the Army Weimer also had some closing words for the 741st. The Chief of Staff of the Army and I are focused on four areas, war fighting, delivering combat-ready formations, continuous transformation, and strengthening the profession of arms. It'll take the collective effort of the total Army to develop the lethal warfighting culture we need in the Army and capable of helping us achieve the objectives within these focus areas. To develop that culture, we need soldiers like you to continue to look for crucibles, which will push you and grow you into the soldiers and leaders we need. In other news, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp recently hosted the first installation town hall since November. This month's town hall focused on schools and child and youth services. The hot topic, upcoming school redistricting. Well, Guest now. panelist Dr. Bill Heiser, the Chief Operating Officer for Anne Arundel County Public Schools, went into some depth on school redistricting. In terms of the first phase, what does that mean? It's the implementation for the northern part of our county. And when you think about the northern part of our Anne Arundel County, um, it's the existing clusters of Chesapeake, Glen Burnie, Meade, North County, Northeast, Old Mill, along with two new schools, Old Mill West High School, which is what we were calling it during the redistricting process, and West County Elementary School. So we're bringing on two new schools, and thus was the need, as a school system of 85,000 students that had um, enrollments that were uneven, the goal is to try to balance those enrollments. It There's much more on school redistricting from the town hall. You can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Meanwhile, MWR has published this year's community job fair schedule. The first is a technical job fair coming up on Wednesday, March 13th from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. As always, all the job fairs are open to the public. There's a shuttle bus service that runs between the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175 and Club Meet for those that don't have normal access to the installation. No pre-registration is required, and all job seekers are encouraged to be ready to meet potential employers with resumes and be dressed for success. For more information, you can go to me.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.